Ukraine's newest weapons scare Russian strategists in Crimea. Occupied Crimea, which is Putin's totemic and strategically important unsinkable aircraft carrier, is beginning to look unseaworthy. Former Royal Navy officer Tom Sharp writes about this in a column for The Telegraph. In his opinion, the closure of the four main supply arteries like Kirsch Bridge and two ferry crossings and the railway will leave the peninsula without engines, weapons and food. The stockpile of weapons that the Ukrainian army can use against the Crimean bridge is growing. Recently, they presented a new naval drone, Stalker 5.0, which is significantly cheaper than the Magura V5, which ousted the Black Sea Fleet from occupied Sevastopol. Without detailed plans for the bridge, no one can predict with certainty what kind of payload could destroy the span and put it out of commission forever. But a thousand kilograms of precision explosions could cause enormous damage and at that price, one could simply not stop until you will succeed says Sharp. In his opinion, Russia understands the inevitability of such a strike, so they are trying to protect the structure with barges. The military man is confident that this crude defensive mechanism needs to be broken only once, and only then Ukraine will be able to disable key supply nodes, increasing the time and cost of restoration for the occupiers. This is not about returning Crimea as such, but about making it unnecessary as an operational hub. Taking Crimea away would be so shameful and expensive that it is worth continuing, he added. As reported, the latest Ukrainian maritime drone stalker 5.0 was presented at the Black Sea Security Forum. It is known that its length is 5 meters and its width is more than 1.2 meters. The attached gasoline engine accelerates the drone to speeds of more than 40 knots. In addition, it is equipped with a video communication and control system based on Starlink. The cost of Russian tanks destroyed by units of security service of Ukraine exceeds $2 billion. According to the most conservative estimates, the cost of Russian tanks destroyed by units of security service of Ukraine is more than $2 billion. Political scientist, ex-People's Deputy of Ukraine, Alexander Chenenko, writes about this. The expert comments on information about 1,006 tanks that units of security service of Ukraine destroyed during the Great War. I calculated the cost of such losses for the aggressor. The cost of one Russian tank, depending on the model, is from 2 to $3 million for the T-72 to $4.5 million for the new T-90 ProRiv. According to the most conservative estimates, the cost of destroyed enemy tanks is more than $2 billion, reports the former People's Deputy. Chernenko reminds that in addition to tanks, unit of units also destroy their expensive Russian equipment. Armored personnel carriers, artillery systems, radar installations and the like. And recently, the service's drones destroyed the third Russian radar, each of which costs $100 million. I noted that the security service of Ukraine constantly demonstrates footage of the combat work of its units. Each destroyed piece of equipment has confirmation. The political scientist emphasizes, we state that the services units destroyed more enemy tanks than all the allied countries combined gave us tanks. And the Russians are increasingly throwing ATVs or even infantry without armor cover into meat assaults and tanks are becoming less and less common. Their Soviet reserves have been significantly reduced and Russian industry cannot keep up with the rate of losses. And the thousand tanks destroyed by the units of security service of Ukraine played a crucial role here. Chenenko sums up. Let us remind you that earlier it became known that units of security service of Ukraine destroyed 1,006 enemy tanks during the Great War. The largest number of enemy armored vehicles were destroyed during fierce battles in the Donetsk and Kharkov regions. Most of the tanks were hit at the initial lines of the offensive before they went to storm the Ukrainian positions. Some of the tanks were destroyed along with their crews.